This is a message for me, from me to all the people who are dealing with international uh, protocols and agreements and looking at trade, that we have to look technology as an enabler and build it in our protocols and agreements as a, as a reality, which we will not be able to stop. So the, when the private sector comes out and does the, the commerce or trade online domestically, it is a reality also that it will be done internationally as well. There will be only so long as the governments can put in strict regulations and rules to, to have some kind of a control on it. But a reasonable level of rules and regulation, I understand, should be there so that there's a consumer protection side to it and the product have to have certain standards. But if you are going to look at it from cross-border trade and the customs and all these things are made too difficult, then we will be inhibiting the growth that is a that is going to grow the sector, grow the business, grow the people. Um, it, it, I have an estimate and, uh, that I've done is that, for example, for my ICT for Girls program, if I can bring in girls online, it's, it's, we are a 200 million plus population, 50% of it is women. If, if, if we can bring even 10% of those girls and women online and teach them how to do coding, they can actually contribute billions of dollars to the revenue of the country.